My boyfriend cooks all my meals for a full day. He actually started cooking the night before because he found a recipe for overnight cinnamon rolls because cinnamon rolls just take too long for breakfast. So you put these in the fridge overnight and then you let them rise for like an hour in the morning and then you bake them. I feel like baking is like adult arts and crafts. Like we've been baking together for our whole almost seven year relationship. Anyway, some of the butter leaked out, but it kind of gave them like a crispy crust, which I kind of loved. And the cream cheese frosting was thick. They were super soft and warm. And the center is always the best part. And Chris knows I'm obsessed with the Publix buffalo chicken dip. So he had the idea to make buffalo chicken paninis and then you got to butter the bun and the panini press So it gets extra buttery and crunchy and wait for it. Look at this cheese bowl Oh my gosh It was so creamy and a little spicy and the ciabatta has that perfect crispy crust But it's still so soft and fluffy inside and finally he saw a tiktok for like a hawaiian roll pizza thing So you put whatever pizza sauce you want then cheese then we used extra spicy salami and then some parm and then pepperoni and then More mozzarella and to be honest we used way too much pesto, but I love pesto So I thought like the more the better and then the herb melted butter makes the buns kind of crispy in the oven And then I dip them in spicy red pepper marinara and even with too much pesto, it was still kind of fire, like so much meat and cheese and the buttery soft bread. I don't know why I don't eat Hawaiian rolls every day. They're so good. Thanks, Chris. And that's all for today. Only eating at Jack in the Box for a full day. So we don't have Jack in the Box in Florida and I didn't know they had shakes. This Oreo one was thick like ice cream. Like you can't even drink it through a straw. It was super creamy too. Also, she gave me like eight sauces when I only asked for two. And I love that they use cheese sauce instead of just cheese on the loaded tacos. So it's actually gooey and melty and the tacos are so crunchy. The hot sauce wasn't super hot, but the ranch was really nice and tangy. And then I heard they have the best jalapeno poppers out of all the fast food chains. And honestly, I can confirm they were so crispy and actually kind of spicy and honestly it's so random that they have egg rolls but i'm kind of here for it there's a decent amount of pork filling and the crunchy cabbage with the sweet and sour sauce that adds like the perfect sugary pop and i went to a different location for dinner she gave me one of every sauce for free and two drink cups when i was supposed to only get one southern hospitality man also they have churros they have everything they've got this gooey cinnamon filling and they were piping hot they would be so good with some chocolate dipping sauce and the classic curly fries are just so perfectly crispy i also tried them with the creamy avocado sauce that didn't really taste like avocado but it had a nice little citrusy tang and finally i got the spicy chicken sandwich with barbecue sauce and it was also like steaming hot not quite as good as popeyes but it did have a little heat and the bun was nice and soft and buttery and i actually really liked it with the honey mustard it added like the perfect amount of sweetness and that's all for today only eating the cruise favorite meals for a full day on a cruise ship this week i sailed on royal caribbean's beautiful oasis of the seas i got to meet the cruise director ricky who told me about his favorite meal if you want to have food home you gotta go to Portside Barbecue. The cornbread is perfect. So I went to Portside Barbecue for lunch and he was not lying about the cornbread. It was so moist and sweet like honey. Super soft too. I also got the pulled pork sandwich with this tangy sugary barbecue sauce and the pork was nice and tender, but the sausage links were actually my favorite. So juicy and salty, savory. Then I met Justin, who's the head maitre d' and he said his favorite meal is... Fashion soup, creamy, aromatic, and of course the most tender kind of the beef. She's a so this is the wild mushroom soup with truffle oil and it was thick and creamy and so flavorful like salty in the best way and the filet mignon as justin requested was juicy and seared to perfection and it came with a slightly spicy peppercorn sauce and their mac and cheese had so much baked melted cheese on top and it also had so much flavor and finally i met sunshine whose favorite meal is three short rib beef the beef they cook until the bone fall off so we went to the restaurant and they bring out this truffle butter bread oh my god also, Sunshine was not lying when she said the braised short rib falls off the bone. It's so tender and rich and fatty, and it goes so well with the creamy mascarpone polenta. And I also tried the lobster thermidor, which was super cheesy. And also, the desserts were gorgeous. They had this fried cheesecake, and that's all for today. Today, I decided to walk through Central Park and stop at every single food cart. I wasn't expecting my first stop to be Melba's. This is a black-owned comfort food spot in Harlem, but I guess they have a location in the park now. And this chicken and waffle cone came with this creamy, peppery sauce that kind of reminded me of cane sauce also the chicken was so crispy and so well seasoned like so much flavor then i walked through sheep's meadow and i came across this food cart that had a pizza pretzel from the picture i thought it was going to be filled with like marinara and mozzarella but it was like a craft cheese inside that wasn't my favorite but the pretzel itself was actually really soft and warm and i walked through the rest of the park i didn't see any food till i reached the edge but one thing about me i will always stop at an ice cream truck i don't care if it's cold outside i love ice cream and i got this double dip chocolate cone with rainbow sprinkles 
sprinkles. The chocolate was so thin and crunchy. And who doesn't love sprinkles? They're so sweet and sugary. The ice cream was actually really creamy too. Oh, this is my friend Andrew. <laughs> anyway, this is kind of cheating, but Liberty Bagels is right outside the park and I always come here when I'm in the city because it's my life goal to try every single flavor of cream cheese. And the crust of this French toast bagel was kind of like caramelized with sugar. So it had a little crunch and oh my gosh, the cinnamon walnut raisin cream cheese had these sweet, soft raisins. And I had to get the rainbow bagel with Oreo cream cheese. It was my favorite last time I came and it had a little less cream cheese this time, but the bagel has that subtle sweetness and the perfect chewy texture. But the works on an everything bagel was my favorite. The crispy hash brown with the juicy sausage and cheesy eggs. It's so salty and savory. And that's all for today. Only eating street food for a full day in Mexico. One of the locals told us the best tacos were in this blue truck on the side of the road. They had a bunch of different sauce options and the pork was seriously so flavorful and salty and fatty in a good way. And the tortillas were so soft. But then I made a mistake. So he said this salsa was really spicy. And I said, I love spicy food, but this is the spiciest thing I've eaten in my entire life. Like hotter than the hot ones challenge, hotter than spicy hot pot in China. My tongue was on fire for like 20 minutes. Thankfully, I found this lady selling ice cream, but she said it was extra delicious with tahine and chamoy, which adds this like tangy, salty sweetness and really brings out the fruity flavors in the ice cream. And then for lunch, I found this lady making handmade sopes and empanadas. This sope had this like buttery sauteed shrimp and cotija cheese and these soft creamy avocados and crunchy cabbage. And the thick fried maseca tortilla is so rich and satisfying. And then the empanada was super hot and crispy and filled with this really moist, juicy chicken. It just has so much like salty, savory flavor. She also made me some fried plantains, which were also so hot and super sweet, like almost caramelized. And then they just melt in your mouth. And finally for dinner, we headed to the beach and I got a chimichanga that was smothered in this creamy, melty cheese and filled with this super tender steak. I wasn't expecting the steak to be so tender. And then I added some hot sauce for a little kick. And anyway, that's all for today. Only eating at cookout for a full day. I didn't know they had walking tacos, which is just chili, cheese, sour cream, and lettuce in a Doritos bag. And it's so good. The chili has a little heat and it's so cheesy and crunchy. And then I got their cheeseburger cookout style, which has chili, slaw, mustard, and onions. And I gotta be honest, the burger was super dry. So I added some barbecue sauce, which helped a lot. It still wasn't super well seasoned, but not bad. But these hush puppies were so crispy and they had a really great onion flavor. And I've never tried hush puppies in ranch before, but it's kind of fire. The Cajun fries had a lot of seasoning, salty with a little heat. And the cashier freaked when I said I'd never tried Texas peat hot sauce. And it was like tangy, almost sour, but not super overpowering. Of course, I had to get a shake. This peanut butter fudge one was so peanut buttery. Like you can tell they don't skimp on the toppings. It was really smooth and creamy too. And then we stopped at a different location for dinner and I got the chicken finger sandwich. I added some buffalo sauce. They kind of reminded me of steak and shake chicken fingers, like a lot of breading, super crunchy, but slightly dry. So it definitely needed the sauce. I also got a cheeseburger quesadilla and look, it's nothing special. The burger patty is kind of dry like it was in the burger. So it definitely needed some sauce and the signature sauce is actually sweeter than I was expecting. But the white cheddar cheese bites were my favorite thing all day. Look at this cheese pull. They were so crispy too and kind of light, but also rich. And everyone said to get cheer wine. So I got a float and they put so much ice cream in it that the cheer wine disappeared a little bit, but it still had a really nice cherry flavor. And that's all for today. Everything I ate at my best friend's wedding. I've only been to three weddings in my entire life, but I feel like the best part is always the food, right? Like they had this spinach artichoke dip that was warm and creamy and so salty. And I've been getting really into stinky cheeses lately. They just have so much flavor, especially with some sweet jam and spicy pepperoni. Anyway, I finally got to see my bestie. She's lived in Japan for years. I haven't seen her since like 2018. This made my entire year. I'm so happy for her. Also, what is it about Southern food that's so freaking delicious? I made this pulled pork sandwich with Hawaiian bread. Again, I should be eating Hawaiian bread every day. It's so soft and sweet. And the barbecue sauce with the honey mustard. Also, the mashed potatoes were so fluffy and peppery and the chicken was moist. But the best part was the cheesecake station. They had fruity toppings and chocolatey toppings and you get to make your own cheesecake. It was also Costco cheesecake. I don't know how I've never had it before, but it is so creamy, so smooth and like the rich peanut butter cups with the crunchy butter fingers. Perfect combo. She also had a bunch of different games you could play like Giant Jenga and Cornhole and they played Family Feud. It was so much fun. Congrats, Haley. I love you so much. And that's all for today. Everything I ate my first time at Zaxby's. This kick and chicken sandwich looked fire. Look at how crispy and buttery the Texas toast was. Also, I added extra tongue torch sauce and ranch. So it was like super saucy. And the chicken was definitely crispy and super tender. 
flavor, not quite as juicy as Cane's, but Zaxby's toast was way better in my opinion. I added extra seasoning to the fries so they had a lot more flavor. They weren't very crispy, but the Zaxby's sauce was fire. Super tangy and creamy and peppery. I also got the boneless wings with hot honey mustard sauce. Not super spicy, but so sweet. Like the honey flavor definitely comes through more than the mustard and the chicken quality was good, but the breading was super thick. The tongue torch sauce definitely added some heat. And one thing about me, I will always order fried pickles. I love them so much. These were a little too oily. The ranch definitely helped. And then look, I found this big boy pickle. Not good at all with the sweet spicy sauce though. Way too sweet. Do not recommend. Definitely the best with the Zaxby sauce. And finally, I tried the chicken bacon ranch loaded fries. I added some extra seasoning, of course. And I don't know why they don't melt the cheese, but it still kind of smacks like the salty fries with the crispy chicken and the creamy ranch. And then I added some extra Zaxby sauce and that's the ticket. So many flavors and textures. The peach tea blew me away. So peachy, but not artificial tasting like sweet, but you can still taste the tea. And that's all for today. I'm currently sailing on one of the biggest cruise ships in the world. And today I tried to do every single onboard activity. We got started super early on the sports deck because they have a zip line on a cruise ship. It's a little different than my old ship, but it was so much fun. Then they have a bunch of different slides. This one had these like cool trippy lights inside and you go so fast. Chris doesn't even like slides, but he had so much fun. He wanted to go again, but we didn't have time because we had to go check out all the pools and watch a belly flop competition. And somehow I got roped into the flow rider, which I definitely need some practice at. I could only get up to my knees, but Chris didn't even partake. So you know what? I feel good about myself. And then I cleaned up and we were late for the ice show, but they had this like cool artist who draws with sand. He tells this whole story. It was beautiful. And the skaters were literal stars. I was so shook. And then the shows are so short. You can fit like three into one night. So we saw the aquatic show, which again, the talent blew me away. Someone said it was kind of like, O in Vegas. And I've never seen, O, but now I'm dying to see it. Disclaimer, you might get wet. And finally, what I was most excited for, cats. When I tell you this was flawless, the voices, the dancing, we could not stop talking about it. Way better than the movie. Like don't even compare the two. And then we might've been a little late for our escape room, but we totally helped. Uh, but for real, I'm terrible at escape rooms. So I was very happy to just watch and celebrate like I did something. But anyway, then there was this late night game show where the whole audience is like split up into teams and you each compete against each other. Everyone's like yelling and running around and our team won second place, which Chris was so excited about. And then we went to see the cover artist who was so good. What the heck? We were like singing till like 2 a.m. It was so much fun. And that's all for today. Everything I ate my first time at Bojangles. All right, this Bowberry biscuit has been all over my For You page. It smelled so sweet and it was really soft and warm with a little crispy crust. And then it had a decent amount of blueberries. And I don't know why these fries are so controversial. They had so much seasoning and flavor, a little hot, a little sweet. They could have been a little crispier, but so good with the honey mustard. And I had to try the Cajun filet biscuit. Y'all, the biscuit was actually super moist, really buttery, and the chicken was crispy. It had some heat too. And then the barbecue sauce adds that perfect sweet Sweetness. And they also have sweet potato pies. Are you kidding? It was so cinnamony and the sweet potato filling was gooey and creamy at Thanksgiving vibes for sure. They also have hash browns all day. Not quite as crispy as McDonald's, but the onion inside added a lot of flavor and the honey mustard can do no wrong, okay? And then I got the Supreme combo for a TikTok hack, but it came with a biscuit that wasn't quite as good as the biscuit from the Cajun filet biscuit for some reason. Anyway, then you chop up the Supremes and you add mac and cheese, which is so good by itself, like really cheesy. And then you add some of the creamy buffalo sauce and shake it up and the supremes are still like really crunchy and then they go so well with the softer macaroni and the cheese from the mac and cheese kind of mixes with the buffalo sauce so it becomes this like rich spicy cheesy sauce i'm obsessed and i'm actually on a road trip right now to my friend's wedding in south carolina so please let me know what other southern food spots i should hit up and that's all for today